an hour anyway. So what you want to do is go to the Twitter Bootstrap site and then click on the Get Started tab and what we're going to do is we're just going to use some of the frameworks that these guys have already made because Twitter Bootstrap is awesome. So you'll scroll down here and you'll see a section called Examples and we want to use um, I'm going to use a combination between this basic marketing site. So I'll open that up. And if you're in uh, Firefox, you can right click and click on View Page Source. And that gives you all the coding for that page. So you select it all, copy it, and then dump it into your own text editor. And then we're going to save that as, um, save it as let's just save it as home page. So it looks cool at home. And that's saved into our work folder that we set up previously. All right, so we've got a home page and we want to modify it slightly, okay? So we don't want it to look exactly the same as this one. I quite like uh, this one here as well. I like a combination of this. So I quite like these featurettes that they've got here. I think it's quite a good way that they've set it out. So on this one, we'll go view page source, and we'll get all the code for that. We'll select it, copy it, and let's set up another page. And um, we'll save it as... Uh, we'll just save it as temp, because all I'm going to do is just rip the code out of it for those featurettes. Okay, so temp, so the part that we want out of this page is these bits here, these bits with the nice big pictures. So first feature here, second one, third one. And um, quite like this carousel, but we won't go into that for this one. We're just going to make a combination. So we're basically going to take this basic marketing site here with a nice big hero unit at the top, and then we're going to drop in those featurettes underneath it. So to do that, move this over to here, might not have a code beside it. So this is actually the code for, so as you can see here, this is the code for the site. So up here in your head section, that always goes at the top. So everything that sits in your head, you've got your title, and this title is what shows up here. It's in Bootstrap from Twitter. So we're going to change it and let's change it to old school wrestlers. So let's make a site about old school wrestlers. The description, this part, the stuff that goes in here um, is the stuff that generally shows up in the Google search results. So um, this is a website about old school wrestlers and then the author content um, is fire in the south so Devlin is the order. author okay and so this next part here in the head um, is where you have your styles so what we want to do is we want to make sure that the reference to those styles like the link to it is correct so if we open up our working folder we've got like bs slash blah 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 so we've got the CSS folders, image folders and JS folders you see our home.html what we're working on now is sitting in here so this part here this slash assets dot 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 doesn't actually apply now it's correct so it's going to call up the CSS folder which is this one and then it's going to look in there and it's going to find bootstrap.css which is that guy right there and that's going to provide all the stuff that makes it look nice so we go down to the next link and we have to tidy that up as well. All right, so now that's pointing to the right place. Um, and we're actually missing that file. So see, are we missing this bootstrap.responsive? So we need to get our hands on that. So um, what I'll do, I'll show you how to do it. You just jump in here, you right click, you go view page source, um, and then you click on that link for it and it brings it up and so we'll select it all we'll copy it and we're going to create a new file out of all of that and we're going to save it as 
bootstrap dot responsive dot css uh, dash responsive dot css and get rid of that text and we're going to save it in the right place in that css folder and once we've saved it we just go back and check to make sure that we named it right so bootstrap dash responsive dot css so let's have a look bootstrap dash responsive dot css okay cool so let's go back to our home page and keep editing through so now we've got that and we made sure that we've got it in the right file spot back in our working folder here it's in the css folder so now that part of it's going to work this next section that you'll see in the head is it says fav and touch icons so what that's referring to there is um, this random thing called a, a favicon and the favicon is this little badger up here see how it's got that little b that's just like a little icon that they've resized to fit up there and this is where they're calling it up so we're not going to have any flash favicons or whatever and these other ones here apple touch icon there's all these different sizes so um, I think that's for uh, the App Store, I think that is on your iPad and that is on your iPhone. Can't really remember off the top of my head, but basically that's the little icons if you download it to your home screen, that's what makes those work. So we're not even going to worry about those. So they're not going to work. Next part is, so you've obviously got your head section, which we've just spoken about, then you've got your body section. And your body section is everything that is going to show up in your browser window in here, right? So everything that's in here is in your body section so you see the first thing that we're coming up to on your screen is this nav bar up the top and so the first part in here is this guy right so this is our nav bar so that's all the stuff that makes that nav bar work and in here it's got project name so we want to change that to old school wrestlers so we'll go back into our one we can see project name so we change that to old school wrestlers okay let me save that up and what I'll do now is since we're talking about it and going through it I'll actually open that up in the browser window so that you can see what we're doing so here we go old school wrestlers so now we're actually editing this same page you can see that the title of the page is old school wrestlers so that's what we changed up here it's this part and it's showing up in the the browser there okay so getting back down so we've got that part changed and then this is the hero unit which is the main sort of block of advertising stuff so we we'll keep scrolling down and in here Twitter bootstrap do an awesome job and their commenting is awesome so when I say commenting that's all the stuff that sits inside these brackets so whenever you write less than um, exclamation mark dash dash anything after that is a comment and that's not going to be read as code by your browser and it's not going to be displayed out in the browser so whatever you write after that as long as you close it off with dash dash greater than you can write whatever you want but so Twitter Bootstrap are really good at explaining what they're doing here so they're saying okay this is the hero unit so if we want to make that hero unit disappear let's just comment it out and I'll just show you what I mean so we'll put those into the comment there so everything's gone grey in this section so that's not actually going to be read by the browser, we'll save it, we'll go back in here and oh, it's disappeared, how's tip, what are we going to do? So, put the comment back in the right place and now it's going to work, but we want to say instead of hello world we're going to say kia ora bro and we're going to say check out my sweet ass Old school wrestlers page. Cousin. Alright, and if you're a Kiwi, you'll know what I'm talking about. And if you're not, and you've never been there, you're going to think I'm a bit crazy. But I am crazy, so it's alright. Alright, I'm going to save that. We'll go back in. And here we are. Kill with a bro. Check out my sweet ass old school wrestlers page, cousin. And then this learn more button, that's not actually doing anything at the moment. So you click on that, nothing's happening. The reason nothing's happening is because we've just got a button here, but there's no actual reference to where it's going to. 
Um, we're not even going to worry about doing that. We can do that in a later tutorial, but just explaining what's going on. Then we've got this section down here with these headers, right? So good old bootstrap, example row of columns. And then you can see that that's that section there, which applies to here. So if we change the heading to, um, let's find some info about the wrestlers. So we'll say, uh, know, ravishing Rick Brew. That dude is an absolute fiend. Maybe there's some photos in here of him saying and you understand what I'm talking about if you don't know about old school wrestlers. This guy is an absolute fiend. Check out his mo. Okay, and then you've got a button here, um, which is what this thing is. And it says view details. So we're going to say, um, instead of view details, we're just going to say, um, check out this badger. Save it. Now if we go in here, that's going to update this heading and it's going to update this button. And there we go, Ravishing Rip Rude. This guy's an absolute fiend. Check out his mo. Check out this badger. And what we'll do is we'll actually link this button down to the feature. It's what we're going to build. So in this reference here, um, I'm just going to say Rip Rude. Save it. And then further down in the feature X, we'll, um, we'll actually link to that. So carrying on down, that's that section of code that makes these guys work. So that heading, that heading, that heading. Then you'll see there's this little line here, this gray line. That's this HR tag, right? So that's what makes that happen, that nice little divider. So say we wanted to put another divider above that, below the hero unit. This is the end of our hero unit here. And this is the start of our columns. So we just fire in an HR tag here, save it. And there you go, we've got this little line coming up. So what I liked about uh, this other project um, that we had in this example, this Jumbotron, what I quite liked about this one was this featurette section. So I remember before I saved the source code to this and I called it temp. I'm going to go back into this temp and we're going to scroll down until we find the feature X, right? And you'll notice in the top here, there's all this extra stuff that we don't have in our one. All this extra stuff in here is inside the style tag. So we're going to so see the style tag here. So this is the open style tag and then all the way down here got a close style tag and so if we just start trying to use like copy and paste let's do it okay so this is start of the feature it's right here marketing message and feature it's right so let's just take this whole section and I'll show you um, copy it and we'll put it into our page and it's probably not going to look that good because we haven't Put the styles up in the head right so in that other one it had all that extra styling so we've only got this little bit of style code in here and that other one had heaps of it so what we'll do is we'll copy and paste in the feature it code so and we'll save it and then we're going to refresh our old school wrestler page which we've got here and then we're going to get some extra stuff popping up okay so here we go so first feature at heading, it'll blow your mind. Oh yeah, it's that good to see for yourself. So you'll notice first up that the images aren't there. So if you go back, these images aren't here. Well, the reason those images aren't here is because the links to those images aren't correct, right? So that's the link to the first one. For a start, that's pointing to the wrong folder. So we'll fix that up and we'll go, okay, well, let's point to the image folder, which is what we're doing back here. So see where I'm, um, the home page, home page, and it's pointing to the image folder, it's pointing to the image folder, and then inside that image folder it's saying okay now point to the examples folder, but if you look in here we don't actually have any examples folder in here.